Hi, this is Tom at Tall Clover Farm, and I'm showing you my uh, fountain that right now is sort of uh, <laughs> dismantled. I took the, major, the big vessel out of it, and I emptied it, and it's full of a bunch of slimy goo, and I'm going to clean it, and I'm going to replace the uh, vessel, and Buddy's going, but what am I going to do about getting a drink of water? <laughs> we can go inside, Buddy. Anyway, so Buddy and I are going to show you how. We're going to clean it up and put in a new vessel and fill it back up and show you how it's all done. So stay tuned. Uh, for uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning my uh, fountain with the shop vac and then uh, putting together the pump and the fountain and uh, hopefully having a nice place, uh, a nice, nice, pla nice thing to look at it when it's all done. Okay. All right, so um, before I even begin, I'll just give you a little heads up. Where the bricks are is just a platform where the vessel sits on it. The pipe in uh, the middle there goes up through the pot and it overflows. And that's where the fountain is. That's the pot that overflowed. I just took a, the pot off of the pipe, and the pedestal are the bricks that are stacked up and are below the water line. And then right here, you've got a sump pump. And that, once the sump pump uh, empties out the uh, entire pond, you can see the bottom is full of moss and slime and goo. And uh, that's where I go to phase two, <laughs> which is uh, I take another tool that I love and use often, and it is the shop vac. So I have a big shop vac. The one thing you wanna make sure if you use a shop vac to uh, vacuum up all that gunk in there is move all the branches and the big stuff out, but is uh, there's a, there's a uh, filter, and you just wanna make sure you remove the filter, because that's not gonna do you any good having that filter in there. And then you've got basically your empty bucket, your clear filter, and a bulldog, who is very interested in the filter. <laughs> and then you just pop that back on, and uh, then you uh, turn it on, and I'll show you that in just a sec, and suck up all the goo. Right, buddy? Right. All right, so there's the shop vac, there's the hose, and there's the nozzle. So um, I won't be doing any talking when I turn it on because it'll be so noisy. Okay, now you're looking at the uh, the tub that holds the water, the water basin. It'll be filled with water. It's watertight. And then uh, this is the pump with filters that keep it pretty clean. And it goes through the hose, under the bricks, up through the pipe, and then up through the hole of the pot. Uh, and that is... Uh, the one I had, but I'm putting in a bigger one. All right, next next step. Oh, and it took about, I had to empty that thing about five times. <laughs> there was that much gunk in it. You are now looking at the pump. This is the filter. There's a filter that attaches to the pump. But this part right here, that's the pump. This is the hose, and I will put the hose on the pump. When it's full, the water will pump from there. It'll sucked in through the filter, come out this pipe, and then uh, go over here where I'll have the vessel. All right, we got a big puppy here. Oh, big puppy there, and a big puppy here. So this particular vessel, uh, as you can see, is big, and so I'm just going to move it over to the fountain area, right over there. And then we'll put the piping in and get going there. Well, it's a sunny day in Seattle, and I'm having trouble finding anybody to help me, buddy. <laughs> so I'm going to have to sort of, oh gosh, manhandle this giant thing. So I put a board across here so I can hopefully waddle it across the board and then slide it over to the pile, the, the uh, pedestal of bricks for it to sit on so it'll be above the water level. We'll see how that goes. I won't film it because I can't even, I can barely hold it. Well, still no help from Buddy, but I made it, managed to get it on the board. I basically tipped it up to the end of it and then lifted, and then once I tilted it, it caught the edge of the board, and then I could sort of round it onto the board very carefully and very gingerly because it's, it's basically balanced right now. The thing probably weighs about 200 pounds. All right, we're making progress. <laughs> right, Buddy? That's right, progress. 
All right, I had to actually do some thinking on this one. I couldn't lift it over just that short distance. So I ended up making like a little gangplank and it's supported by the brick tower and by the board that spans uh, a little part of the uh, rigid, rigid pond liner. So that way I could roll it and hopefully roll it over to these bricks and then the whole thing will sit comfortably. And then I have to work on getting the pipe through the top to the bottom, secured and then attached to the hose. This is Buddy's look of disbelief. He can't believe we did it. Well, I did it. He did supervise. So, it was a little touch and go, and it's very precarious right now. I will stabilize it further, and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a, a vessel that won't blow over in the first big storm. Uh, hopefully the water will weight it down. All right, looking good. All right, if you'll remember from a few minutes ago, this will go down to the bottom of the pot. I'll have a, a, a bottom. And then the tube will be hooked up from the underside outside of the vessel. It'll pump the water up this and out there. So consider this, the hole of the pot right here. You're looking at cross section. So I slide it through the hole of the pot and then it stops because that's bigger than the hole. And then uh, I screw this on and that uh, makes it rigid. Uh, to the pot, you know, I screw it on to the point of where it reaches uh, tight. It's tight, and then that makes it perpendicular to the pot. And then I just use this any little adapter, so I can put this on. And then this little guy is where the hose fits. I tell you, it's hard doing it with one hand. See, and that just fits in like that. And I'll put a little. Uh, clamp on it so it stays and then that's the hose that goes from say the pump all the way up here and out here and it'll shoot out there which is the top of the pot okay <laughs> sorry I, I apologize if I'm complicating things but I'll show you it'll make more sense as I put it together well we have a we have a drawback right now I can't um, hold the pipe at the top here while twisting the bolt underneath the plastic or the PVC uh, bolt underneath it. So it's just too long a distance for me to reach. Uh, so it will require help. Dog on it. All right. Who owes me? Who, who owes me a favor? I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase. <laughs> There's a. I cut out. I didn't cut out a lot. I just didn't film it. It was a bit frustrating, um, as most home. Our DIY projects are but I got it done I just need to center the pipe in the middle it's a little off center um, but it's just leaning so I can put a brick in there and or uh, uh, there's ways I can do it to make it center but it works really well it's level uh, the thing is not going anywhere that I can imagine it weighs a ton and uh, it's just a really handsome a handsome addition so basically you just need a the tub that uh, holds the water, the vessel that uh, acts as sort of the conduit for the water, and uh, the pump that makes it all circulate, and uh, there you have it. Big old fancy fountain in your future. <laughs> all right. I hope this helped you somehow. All right. Take care. Hey, one more thing before I finish this. I made this little gadget sort of thing or a little gizmo for the fountain. It's just basically edging, you know, plastic edging for your sidewalk or garden bed. I drilled a hole in the very middle of it, larger than the pipe, and I'm going to stick it in the middle of the uh, fountain over the pipe and then flex it down so it'll uh, keep the pipe in the middle of the fountain. We'll see if it works. This is what I'm talking about. So I'll bend that because it's flexible, so it fits in the uh, pot, and I'll move the uh, pipe over to the middle, and then it'll go out of the middle. All right, let's see if that works. All right, it worked. <laughs> but of course, I had to go back and drill a bigger hole because the hole I drilled was too small for the pipe. Just needed to be from a 7 8 to a 1 inch, and I just pushed the Thing down and then I bent the edges because it was pliable and then it just stayed because it's a, a 
a curved side that didn't float to the top. All right, now Buddy says we're done. It's time to play. What? You ready to play? Okay, play time. All right, thanks for watching. All right, buddy, I'm coming.